Hey everybody, just going to see if I'm live. This should be in a minute or so. Maybe even a couple minutes. Oh, there I am. Okay, just going to make sure. Yep. And I have sound. So these are all good things. Yay! So I'll just wait till some of you can pop on. Okay. Here. Today we're going to be using the Whimsy and Wonder suite of products. I'm just going to wait for you guys to find me. Hi, Keisha. You're always the first one to get here. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I wonder, um, you must get really good notifications because some people say they don't get them or they get them late. Anyways, I'm just going to wait for a few more folks to pop on. Hopefully. Here I am. Hi, Keisha. Okay. Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Okay. Just want to wait for Christina. You're always one of the first ones here too. Hello. I have no life, so you're in my calendar. Keisha, thank you. You just made my day. I'll tell you guys about my day in a minute. Ay, what a day. Kind of first world problem day, but I on the net. Okay, so today, today, I don't go out much, you guys, but Every six weeks, I have to drive um, over to the North Shore. Hi, Ellie. Uh, the North Shore uh, of North Vancouver. So it's usually about a 30-minute drive, maybe not even that much, depending on traffic. And today, I'm merging onto the freeway, and I get this sense of, oh, this doesn't really look good. This kind of looks like a parking lot. So what normally would take about... Mm, five or six minutes. It took me 45 minutes to drive. Then I finally get to my destination and now I'm late for my appointment. I'm 25 minutes late. And I think I'll go into the, I'm going to take a chance and go into the underground for this place. Because I always get a spot. And today I followed in the person and she got the last spot. No problem, I say. I back out of there and whip over to a paid parking lot that's not very far away. No parking spaces there. It's in the library, so I'm assuming that it was library day for the kids. Okay. There's one spot left, and it is in a very tight space. Okay. I get in there. I run up to make my payment, and there's two people ahead of me. The first person ahead of me, or two ahead of me, she can't figure out how to use the, the meter. And I thought, I'll pay for your meter. Just let me, let me through. I'll pay for yours, too. This is in my head. Next up, mom and the little boy. Adorable. But of course, you know, I've had little kids. I know what it's like. They want to press the buttons and do the thing. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I know I'm late, late, late. Anyways, I finally get to the, my appointment. Half an hour late. No problem. Then today, I had to do a very, very important presentation online, like a video online. And um, the first time, it taped without any sound. And the second time it taped without it switching to a PowerPoint I was showing. So then I thought, okay, I've got two hours. I got to do my, um, I get my car ready for my seven o'clock. I'm telling you guys, I was this close to saying, I, I just can't. I just, I, I, I run out of energy. I've hit a wall. And then I thought, no, it'll be fun. And I'm so glad I did. Cause I did whip up a card. <laughs> and when I say whip up, I mean, whip up. So hopefully you'll like it. So let's see who else has come and listen to my sad story here. Like I said, first world problems. Hi, Gail. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Grace. Okay. Without further ado, you've listened to my sad tale. Let's have some fun. And I know you can hear me. So the good news is you can hear me and you can see me. Hi, Valerie. All right, you guys, so let's go over here, OK? 
okay? And I'm going to just turn my comments so I can kind of see them out of the corner of my eye, okay? So today we're going to do the Whimsy and Wonder Suite. Oh, thanks, Keisha. You know what? I really was tempted and I thought, oh, seven o'clock will come and I'll be sad that I'm not there. And you guys make such an effort to come see me. And so I thought, come on, you got to you gotta get something ready for these gals. So here we are. Now, my little partner in crime, Ange McKay and I, we do a suite a month and we do a class. And this month it's Whimsy and Wonder. So many beautiful things, right? And then here's the product. So that's page 24 and 25 in the uh, mini catalog. So let me show you some of the products up close. We've got the stamp set, Whimsical Trees. Okay, and then I'm gonna move that over a titch. And then we've got the dies that match. And we've got a bit of a glare. I'm just gonna go over here. I think the glare is a bit from that. So let me go like that. There we go. Okay. Love, love, love the dies. So some of these dies cut out the images and some do not. They just cut out a shape and then you can do some layering. So we're gonna use a few of these tonight. That'll be fun. And then we've also got embellishments. Now these are snowflake embellishments. You get, let's see here, 24 of these. So six on a sheet, four sheets. What I like is there's a piece of tissue paper between each sheet so they don't get all stuck together. We're gonna use one of those tonight actually. Then we've got this beautiful ribbon. This is 10 yards of grow grain. Oh, frayed grow grain ribbon. And it is blushing bride, I think. Yeah, blushing bride. So you got this little fray, which is nice. So grow grain in the middle and then a frayed edge. Pretty. And then we've got the designer series paper. Let me grab that. So we've got, oops, trees upside down. We've got six designs on one side. And ooh, I grabbed the painted Christmas ones at the same time. We have six sheets here. There we go. With patterns on one side. And then they all have this silver embossed. Can you see? Yeah, you can see that. I think the light's picking that up. And when we turn it over, we've got these more solid or geometric shapes. Not quite as, as bold as the other side. And there's no silver embossed on this side. So the class, what do you get in the class? Well, you get four cards with instructions. So all the supplies to make the cards. You're going to get, um, so, yes, yeah, six, I gotta think about this, six 12 by 12 sheets, one of each of these designs, okay? You're going to get a whole package of the snowflakes and you're going to get a roll of the organdy ribbon, the crinkled seam binding ribbon. It's not organdy, sorry, it's just a crinkled seam binding. This is awesome ribbon because you can actually color this ribbon with our Stampin' Blends or our inks, which is really cool. And we'll be doing that probably in the class. Then you also get an invitation to an exclusive class, um, which is going to be on, oh my gosh, November 20th, November 20th. We're going to be on Facebook and we're going to make our cards. So that gives us time to order all the supplies, cut them all, get them out to you. Okay. Now, if you buy the stamps and the dies, like in a bundle for me, you will get the class for free. Okay. If you purchase the entire suite of product, you're not only going to get the class for free, you're also going to get another PDF, like a second PDF with 12 additional cards made with the um, Whimsy and Wonder suite. So lots, lots of goodies. Okay, you guys. So let's start our card. Let me grab my little bits and bobs and tell you what I've got going here. So I started with a piece of basic white. I'm going to just lower this a titch because I just want you to see a little bit better. So it's just a standard card. Cut this five and a half by four and a, uh, sorry, five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're four and a quarter to make it a card front. Okay. Then I've cut a second piece of soft succulent and I have embossed it, just the top, with the snowflake embossing folder. Now, this is from the wintry 3D embossing folder from the annual catalog. You get two of these dies, 
or these embossing folders. One's got snowflakes, one's got pine bows, okay? So all I did was take my piece, put it in here, and run it through my large um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. For those of you who haven't joined me before, I don't tend to like to bring my big one to my table here because you can't see what I'm doing. It's just too enclosed. So I've gone ahead and done that ahead of time, but I know you know how to emboss something. Okay, and then I've got a piece that I've cut of the designer series paper. I love this one with the presents, don't you? I think it's really cute. Hi, Carol. Hi, Mary. Oh, hi, Josie. I think I've got everybody. If I missed anyone? No, nope, I got Valerie. Uh, okay, good. Okay, so what we want to do is I want to glue this piece to this piece to start. So that's pretty straightforward. All right. You guys, if anything goes wrong tonight, I'm not even going to get flustered because, like I said, the kind of day I've had, now I'm with friends. Friends, stamping friends, and stamping friends are the best friends because they don't judge and they just go with it. Now, let me make sure I've got my paper going the right way. That would help. Now, the, the measurement for this piece is four by two. And the measurement for this big piece is four by five and a quarter. Okay. Next, I want to add some ribbon. And I'm going to actually use this pretty ribbon that comes as part of this suite. So I'm going to just cut off a piece like so. And I'm not going to tie a bow because I'm going to put some other stuff on here and I'll get a little bit bulky. So for this, if you have stamp and seal, you can um, turn this over and just add a little stamp and seal seal here there and fold it over and the same on this side. But I'm going to use um, just scotch tape. Okay. Shh, don't tell anybody. Ooh. Don't tell anybody I'm using scotch tape. But I just find it easier, you guys. Okay, there we go. And plus, see, it's not straight. Look how easy this is. I can just go. Whoop, and then move it down and then I'm good, right? Just wanna make sure I'm covering that seam. That's really all I'm trying to do here is cover the seam so you don't see the definition between the two pieces, okay? Next, let's glue this to the front of the card. Let's get this out of the way. This is all the easy stuff. Of course, my card today actually is very easy, so. Not that hard to make. Okay, so there we go. So we've got those beautiful colors being picked up from the paper in our cardstock and our ribbon. Okay, now I think I can set that aside. I'm just looking at my sample. Here's the funny thing. I am actually didn't get a chance to make the sample, so I'm kind of winging it. So I've kind of drawn it out. <laughs> so hopefully it'll work. Okay, I've got this piece of um, positively pink. I love positively pink. It's so bright. I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Move this up a titch. Okay. And I'm going to cut out a rectangle with my rectangle stitched framelits dies. Okay. So the one I'm going to pick is, let me turn this, is this one here. So I could have measured this for you guys to tell you. Let me measure it so I can tell you which one it is. I measure the outside. It's a little bit easier. It is uh, just two and, well, looks like two and three eighths by three and three quarters, roughly. That's the size, okay? So I've got my plate number three. I've got my plate number two. I've got my piece of positively pink and my rectangular stitch die. Leave that in there, and then away we go. Okay, hope you guys have had a good day. Oh, hi from Kamloops, whoever that is. I gotta scroll down. Hi, Kelly. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've chatted. Um, Kelly is asking, is there any magnetic plates coming out for the big and the small machines yet? I have not heard yet. Um, 
we will let you know, believe me, as soon as we hear, we will make sure that you guys are told, but no, short answer. No, I have not heard, nor is anyone else. All right. I think they just want to get it right. Um, they weren't happy with the performance of the um, original plate that we got for the big one. And so they just want to make sure everything is, you know, kosher on, the, on any replacements. They hate recalling stuff. And so that's probably why. So I've got my piece of pink and now I want to stamp. So I've got to just find my stamps. Here we go. I'm going to use these um, decorations which I haven't used yet because you can see who haven't used those. I guess I better put a label on so I can see what I'm doing. Have you guys, if any of you don't know how to put a label on, I sometimes don't put labels on just because I just don't it's sort of a habit I got into. But if you want to put the label on, you want to look at the shiny side and there is always or usually a perforation between the two, um, I'm trying to say halves, I guess. Uh, of the label. Okay, so that's the label. And here's my stamp. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, you can. And I'm just going to line it up. Now you want to line it up. Whoops, I see I'm off. I'm off a little bit because I'm on camera. Oh, dear. Well, don't do that. That's not good. I will fix it later. See, you guys, this is the day. This is my day. This is how my day has gone. But it is okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness it is just you gotta laugh you guys life's too short okay here's joy of which i'm not having a lot of at the moment let's get the label back off of joy now joy look at joy joy doesn't have oh yeah it does have two pieces even though it's small now rather than try and do this way over here where i can't see what i'm doing i am bringing this closer to me you guys so i can see what i'm doing okay so now we are um, probably precariously close to not stamping this straight is what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to have to look at this side and hope, hope with all the hope I have that I won't be too crooked. If I am, eh, like I said, life's too short. So let's go here and just there this guy. Okay. All right, leap of faith. Got our Versamark, and I'm going to ink it up. Boy, this is a real, it's not only a leap of faith because I've stuck the label on wrong, but I'm also too far away from you to see what I'm doing. So you guys, I'm gonna bring it here. I might be off camera, but I have to be able to somehow see what I'm doing, okay? And I don't know if that'll be straight. It might not be. I'm going to do my very best. And then I want to stamp joy right here. Here we go. And now I'm going to add some white embossing powder. So let's dump that on. Now this is like, you know, those when you're a kid, you have those, those uh, coloring books. I don't know. Did you guys have those? Or maybe it was my kids. I can't remember. I think I did. And then you would put a marker over it and that picture would appear. That's what's going to happen now. We'll see if we got it straight. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. I ended the day with a straight image. Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited. For those of you who didn't join me at the beginning, and if you're going to watch it on a replay, you'll see what kind of day I had. Parking lot. Driving in a parking lot. All righty. Going to heat set this. So I've got my heat tool. We'll just get this puppy heat set. Takes a little bit of time to warm up. There we go. Yay. I love white. I love white embossing powder. Okay. I think we're good. Yep. Alrighty, that looks good. Okay, so now I've got this piece, which I'm going to put here, but I want to add some stuff down here. Okay. All right, let's get our little baby boss here. 
And this time, I'm going to take some of the uh, soft succulent paper and one of the dies. So let me grab my dies. How's everybody doing? Hi, Wanda. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. I needed a woohoo. Woohoo. Hi, Maxine. Okay, so now I'm going to use. I'm going to use these little guys, these little trees. Aren't they cute? They're kind of like Grinch trees. Oh, gosh. Come on, you guys. There we go. All right. I'm going to cut two of those. All righty. There we go. And I love these trees. Where do you see these trees, you guys? They've got... Look at this um, detail on the tree. Is that cute? Like these tall little spindly guys. Oh, I must have left one on the plate. Here he is. Okay. Um, so I've got two green ones. And then I wanted a silver one. So let me, so I'm gonna, I've got some silver foil here and I'm just gonna grab one of these. Okay. I'm actually not too worried about it being too long. I will just, um, it'll just cut off the bottom and that's okay. I haven't really measured anything. You guys, this is almost like a mystery card for me. I just grabbed a card using different things that I had in my stash and then thought, okay, I'll use the same layout and I'll create this card. So kind of a cased card. A case of my own case. Does that make sense? What does that mean? A double case? I really am getting punchy on it. Oh, look at that. That's that silver. Isn't that pretty? Um, now that I look at my silver, I think I would like... Actually, I can cut this one shorter. Okay. So here's all my little trees. Now, here's the question I was trying. I couldn't decide because I didn't make the card. Let's see. I can do this. Da -da, and I can put a snowflake. So the snowflake ties, oops, ties in with the snowflake paper up here. And then I've got my trees. But I'm thinking the trees are probably, I think it's almost too busy with the snowflake. What do you guys, yeah, I think so. If I had a bigger tree, maybe, um, or maybe I could do that. What do you think? And then cut the bottoms off. So kind of snowflake. That's option number one. Option number two is just the trees. Let me move this over. It's hard to kind of see, isn't it? With the, with the, gosh, the trees going this way and that way. That's, oh my gosh, you get the idea. So trees by themselves or trees with the snowflake. I think the trees by themselves. What do you guys think? Anybody got an opinion? I'm going to wait and see if you got an opinion. Meanwhile, I'm going to go and grab earlier. I actually cut out whoops, this tree, which I think is better because I think it's bigger. And I'm going to use a little guy and I think I have another little guy that I cut earlier yeah I think the dimensions of this one are a little bit better so big and two little what do you guys think trees by themselves that's what Marjorie thinks I'm kind of agreeing with you Marjorie no trees oh Kathleen your your idea is to just get rid of the trees well we're going to use the trees the question is do we want the trees by themselves or the snowflake with the trees and I think that the snowflakes with the tree is just a little bit too much going on, right? I think I would design it just a titch differently if I was going to use, um, you know, the snowflake too. I would probably put the words over the snowflake or something. Okay, so let's get these guys glued down. And what I'm going to do is, because you guys, I have not tried this, right? Like you guys are my guinea pigs. It's just... Get. Did you guys see that uh, William Shatner going into space yesterday? I was so 
he was so moved by that experience, wasn't he? So sweet. And we, we're such a proud Canadian too. We just love our Canadians. Okay. Uh, I think I better do this. I think I better kind of stagger those. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, oops, this guy needs a little bit more glue. So I've got it going off the bottom. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to cut those off. You could leave them and kind of create a different kind of look, but I don't think so. I think I want it crisp. So let's get rid of those tree trunks. And then for this guy, I want him to be um, popped up. So I need a very tiny, um, itty bitty, teeny weeny baby guy here. Let's just, okay. Well, the good news is we have got sand. I didn't run out of um, battery life. It's all good. Life is good. Life is very good. Okay, let's see. You got it? It's a little crooked, but that's good. Okay, trim off his trunk. It sounded kind of funny, didn't it? Trim off his trunk. All right. And then we've got, let's pop this whole thing up. Okay. Now Wanda's yeah, I could have tried the snowflake behind. That's not, a, I haven't done it yet. So Keisha's got an idea. I actually crossed my mind, Keisha, but then I thought, hmm, but let's see. So this is Keisha's idea. I'm gonna put that down and then we're gonna have that. Ooh, you know what? I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I think we have a winner. What do we think, you guys? Yeah? I'm going with Keisha's idea. I like it. So Keisha, we're going to put a little bit of glue right in the middle. I'm not going to try and put glue on all these little, because you know that would go sideways, right? You just knew it would. So let's do this. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that's in the right spot. I want to put it up a titch and it won't matter because my pink will be behind. Oh, I think you got the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well done. Keisha. Yeah, Carol, she's, she's right. She's designing. Yeah. Great idea. So I was able to get that snowflake on there somehow. Oh yeah. Loving that. What do we, th oh, look at that. Love. What do you guys think? Love. Love. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, next question. Is bling too much? Should I add any rhinestones or we have, if we got enough going on here? You know, there is a fine line between stopping <laughs> and adding too much. So what do we think? Do we think, I, I, I don't know, I'm thinking we've got maybe enough. What do we think? We'll take a vote. Of course I could always lay them on and then if we don't like them, I could take them off. I'm thinking it might just, uh, just might be too much. Add. So we've got an add from Carol. She wants to add some bling. What about the rest of you? Top left. Okay. So you think up here to balance off this and make it more of a triangle. Lynette says add. Okay. We've got people that are blinging me. All right. We're going with the bling. Okay. So let's go oop, up there maybe just kind of there and then one more uh, I think even there okay there we go that is our combination right too much bling Keisha no there is not um, there is no such thing as too much bling I would agree I would agree Maybe there's too much of, too many elements. Maybe that's the word, right? So what do we think? Cute? Now, do you want to see the card that I based this on? Because I was, you should have seen my desk, you guys. It was just covered in stuff. I grabbed, sometimes if you're stuck, grab a card from your stash 
and see if you can use the same layout, um, but just different elements, right? Oh, what is the tool called? Wanda, this tool? Just one second. You mean this guy? Oh my gosh. This is the best tool. Look at this. Okay, it comes like this. Let's put these on so we don't take an eye out. Okay, so this is called a take your pick. And on one end, oh, one end, we have this putty. And that's what I grabbed. I can just grab my bling off. And since Keisha says there's, you can never have too much, we'll prove her point and uh, add another one. There we go. So just sticks. Isn't that great? Because these are self-adhesive, obviously. Okay, so that's one end. And then you can get this, you can buy replacement putty, which is really great. And then on this end, I've got this pick here, which is really good. And then, oh, look at this sad. Okay, so this, look at this sad bent. This is all bent. I think I tried to do something really weird with it. Stamping related, but anyway, it bent. And I, it's not meant to do that, so oops. And then there are also other uh, parts that you can oops, purchase and stick on the on here instead. You can pull this off and put others. And it is one of those styluses. So for, if you do a lot of scoring, it's a really good one to have. Okay, so it all comes in a box all together, which is fun. So take your pick, Wanda. Take your pick. All right. Um, card card I made, we made together. This was a group effort. And here was the original card. So let's get those in the frame. Can you see that? Oop, I hope if it was straight. I think my phone isn't straight. Let's, oh, there. Sorry, you guys. My gosh, I'm giving you whiplash. Okay, so the difference is same elements, right? Different words. Um, the embossed up here is the brick embossing folder. And then, of course, this is the darling little pig from uh, Joyful Life. I just love this pig. And instead of like a really heavy ribbon, this is just white baker's twine. Isn't he cute? I know he's so cute. So cute. Anyway, same idea. Just different elements, different products. But I pulled it off. Yay. All right. So let's go over here, and here we are. Oh, that worked out. That worked out, so I'm really happy about that. So let's see what you guys are saying. Now, do you think that if I should chance it and try to do my video for my presentation for the third time after this and hope I get all the elements right, or should I just sleep on it and wake up fresh? I'm thinking I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna go for it because you guys have kind of rejuvenated me. All right, so the deadline to sign up for the Whimsy and Wonder class is Sunday. So that would be, I don't even know what date that is. The 17th, the 17th, I think. So I will post a link to my, to my sign up. So if you're a customer of mine or you don't have a demonstrator or you're a demonstrator who would like to take the class, um, you can sign up. Um, but if you're Ange McKay's client, customer, or you purchase from her, then you should sign up with her and I'll put her link on too because we've got both of the links going, okay? So I'll make sure I get that up there. Um, I think that's it uh, for now. I think you guys are good. Some of you might have been leaving because we're at the end. So thanks. Now, when am I live again? I'm live again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So 10 a.m. Pacific time. And I'll be sharing a card made with one of our sketches. So showing you how you can use a, like a sketch layout to create a card. All right. So thank you guys so much. Have a great evening. And as always, much appreciated that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to um, come to stamp with me and chat and hang out. All right. Have a great evening. See you Sunday.